featured on Gotham Comedy Live on TV. Let's give it up for the very funny Mr. John Romanoff. Come on. How you doing, folks? What's going on? Don't be frightened. I'm really close to you. It's close to my usual. I do have a little, I'm trying to lose weight right now. Um, my buddy just lost 90 pounds. My buddy Mike LaRusso lost 90 pounds just drinking vegetable juice. So now I have no excuses. I have to do this now. I've lost six pounds. Good. Don't <laughs> applaud for that. Me losing six pounds is like taking a jelly bean out of an Easter basket. No, <laughs> nobody cares. It's not a big deal. I'm trying to get healthy. I have a five-year-old little girl at home, and uh, she's, she's amazing. Being a dad's fun. It's fun when she's five, so you can stop telling people how many months they are. <laughs> people with the months are ridiculous. Enough with the months. I've had enough with the months. Anything after 18, you're making your friends do algebra. Cut it out. <laughs> and this is Lily. She's 46 months old. <laughs> Oldest kid. She thinks she's smarter than me, which is fantastic. She is. She sits in the back of the car, reprogramming her Kindle while I'm screaming at traffic. <laughs> she's like, Daddy, you got to let it go. <laughs> what are you, giving me advice from Frozen? Cut it out. I don't have time for this. She's, she's an only child, which uh, means that we're raising a psychopath. <laughs> Anybody who knows that, if you're an only child and you raise one, you know you gotta keep these things nice. You spoil them, you overprotect, you gotta wrap this thing in bubble wrap because you can't dent it. You only have one. You gotta keep this one nice. And it's, uh, <laughs> um, she's, she, uh, she's, she's, we have the baby monitor in her room because we overprotect. We, she's four, four and a half. We kept the baby monitor in there the whole time. I don't know what she's gonna do. If she needs something, she could just text me. I don't know. <laughs> And she figured it out. She just started using the baby monitor like a drive through window. <laughs> I'd be watching TV in the middle of the night. I'd hear, Daddy, Daddy, can I get chocolate milk in here, please? I need chocolate milk. Chocolate milk and some fruit snacks. If you can get me chocolate. Yeah, chocolate milk and fruit snacks. I had to complete my order. <laughs> Daddy, I, I know you can hear me. I changed the batteries in that thing yesterday, so I know the mic's hot. Could you uh, get, get the chocolate? I don't want to have to report you to management again. <laughs> I got written up the next day. My, my wife runs the house like Burger King. <laughs> it's, fan it's a lot of fun. My wife is cool. Me and my wife have been married for seven years, which is a lot of fun. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't. Because uh, all it really proves is that, you know, we love each other when we're not in the same address. <laughs> we're like, it's great. I was driving home from work the other day, and I, I heard our wedding song come on the radio, and I started to tear up and get really sentimental about the old times, and I started to think about her and how everything was really nice, and then I rushed home to get to the house to get her, and I, I ran up to, well, I didn't run up to the door, but I got up to the door as quickly as I could, and I opened the door, and she looked at me, and she said, you know the dog ran, the dog got the trash out of the pot, you left the trash open, and I said, I just walked in the house, yet to, and I, I, that was it. All the sentimentality went away, and I didn't even have to wipe the tears off my face, they just sucked back into my eyes and revolt. <laughs> my, name, my name is John Romanoff. Thank you very much. Yeah. John, you make married life sound so bad. It is. Come on, what do you mean? No, it's nice. It's very nice, but you know, it has its moments. Yeah. My wife, uh, what's my, my best part of our marriage was when she was pregnant. Okay. Why, why, why was that the best part? It was like living, for me, it was like living with another fat dude. It was fun. Oh, okay, all right. We would to clarify there, We liked John. all the same food. She'd want cheesecake dipped in fried chicken. Uh, and I'd, uh, we'd tie each other's shoes before we left the house. In it the was morning. like a match made in heaven. Though. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah. It was like hanging out with your best buddy. Then you, get, you have the kid and you lose your fat guy roommate. Uh, and you get another roommate and, mm. you know, one of them's crying all the time and is never happy about anything. Oh, Keeps you up all wonderful. night. wonderful. And the other one's a baby. I'll be your friend. I'll be your friend. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Three I was hoping right? I got punched over the comment about... All right, go ahead. How many months? That was funny. Yeah. That's so funny because... <laughs> It's what uh, you do, right? Yeah, it is. But your little girl's name is Charlotte? Charlotte Jewel Romanoff. I like I it. Burdened pretty, her with that name. It's fantastic. It's my grandmother's name. It's not after the uh, Alaskan folk singer. It's my grandmother's name. It was uh, Jewel. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, and, and you have an upcoming show, I hear, right? I do. Adam we Ferrara. are. Adam Ferrara is one of my Ferrara. favorites. I'm actually a fan. Actually, he's one of the comics I bought a ticket for before I started doing comedy. Wow. So it's a real thrill for me. We're at Sports Haven, uh, right in New Haven on uh, Long Wharf. And, uh, and for tickets, you call 203-268-5857. Two, uh, two two, wow. And uh, treehousecomedy.com. Look at that. He, he even got the phone number right there. So this guy is <laughs> truly talented. Look, look, look at that. Very Smooth good. Smooth average. Yeah, right. Thanks so much for being Thank here. You really right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Stay with us. We'll have the results of Style Spin coming up next.